got him. Yes! First frog of the day. Oh, he just spit it out. Perfect. Perfect. First frog of the day, guys. We are frog fishing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, no, you don't. No, you don't. Gotcha. <laughs> What is going on guys today? We are frog fishing. I'm with my brother Micah. We're gonna catch a bunch of these frogs. We're gonna catch trout. Who knows, we might even catch strifers or crawdads later. We're gonna cook them up. Should be a great day of fishing and frogging. Guys, today my brother and I are both using just this little tiny frog here. I'll put a link to it in the description if you guys wanna get one yourself. But uh, yeah, it's, it's nice and castable. This is actually kinda heavy, but it's small enough where those frogs can just gobble it right down. Little, little cannibals. All right, guys, we see one all the way on the other side. Oh, you got it. Oh, shoot. Oh, you mean, oh he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. He's probably wondering what the heck just happened. Oh, almost right on him. Oh, shoot. Don't ask me to try to do that again. Dude, I think you're right. I think they're territorial. I think that he's just trying to scare it. That's why he keeps jumping over it and stuff. It's just simply territorial. He doesn't want to eat it. Uh-oh, confrontation. Got him. Oh, shoot. There he goes. Oh, he just popped up on the other side. There we go. Got him. Yes, finally. <laughs> hooked right in the corner of the mouth just a little bit. We don't want to hook these guys really bad because their mouths, see the hook just pops right out. The hooks just barely get them a little bit. That's why we don't set the hook too hard. Otherwise, the frog's mouth stretches and when um, and they're just really hard to get off the hook. So we actually don't want to sink like all the way up to the barb of the hook. We just want to barely skin hook them a little bit. They come right off. Sweet. And then once we get these frogs, guys, I just hold them upside down like this and we just knock them out real quick. And then after they're knocked out, stick them right in the cooler underneath the ice. And we have four frogs for us. Well guys, that was sweet getting some frogs. But uh, my brother, you can see him behind me. He is going that way to try to catch some trout. I'm gonna go down this creek and try to catch some trout. We have a little bet going on right now. We've seen a whole bunch of golden trout swimming around in this little creek and we decided that whoever can catch a golden trout because they're very difficult to catch for some reason don't know why but they're very difficult to catch and whoever can catch one uh, owes the other one a jerk bait from walmart so that's what he just declared so we're gonna um i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna try to catch there's a huge sturgeon right here guys holy guys there's a massive sturgeon i think is that, that's, guys, there's a huge sturgeon right under this low hanging bank. You see that black tail? Here, let me get an underwater camera on. Sturgeon, two giant sturgeon right here. Two giant sturgeon right here. I'm not even kidding. Look at look. There's one there, and there's a bigger one. Oh, you can kind of see him right there. See that? Hey, 
fish. Look how look how giant that fish is, guys. That is insane. Just right in this little tiny creek. I think what it is, these ones must be spawning because there's a big one and a small one. They're hanging right out in this little like uh, gravelly area. It just it's textbook like spawning area. So yeah, I think. Creek sturgeon spawning. We're not gonna worry about uh, catching them today. We're gonna focus on the trout and the frogs. All right, guys, it's back to business now. My brother explored that other creek. He did not see a single golden trout, but there are some in this one. We just gotta locate them. All right, so we have a couple golden trout right behind these reeds. I'm gonna stay back a little bit, but guys, I have a little bit of a secret weapon here. If you guys watch my channel, I, I think I got one golden trout all of last year and it came on these little red salmon eggs and that I just loaded like three red salmon eggs on a hook, threw it out there and the golden trout went right for it. For whatever reason, these golden trout are so much harder to catch. You see them right down there. They're so much harder to catch than the rainbow. There are four, four of those bad boys. Guys, none of them are interested. Come on, it's right by them, right by them. Nope just not interested guys you know what we need we need a grasshopper or something we need a grasshopper let's go try to find a grasshopper all right guys no grasshoppers so we're gonna try something crazy here never done this before I'm getting out the knife we're gonna get out a frog here I'm just gonna try cutting off like a piece of flesh from the leg that's and then skinning it and let's see if the trout eat that there you go. I just have a little piece of the meat. No skin or anything on it. I'm just going to put that on a, the circle hook. There we go. Just like that. Let's see if that gets a trout. <gasps> got him! Guys, I got one of the golden trout on a piece of frog. Are you kidding me? He just gobbled it right up. <laughs> Yes, 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 come on. Yes, I got a golden trout. I've got the golden ticket. Catching them on a chunk of frog. So we catch frogs, then we use frogs to catch trout. That is fantastic. Guys, when we first came here today, I had no plans of catching a golden trout on a piece of frog. But you just gotta go out there and you just gotta try crazy things. Just, just, I mean, there are no rules. You can just try whatever you want. Oh man, guys, Micah just caught, I thought, I was like, I won, man. Micah just caught a golden trout. Guys, if you wanna check out his channel, I'll put a link to his video that. in the description. That's beautiful. Yeah, all right, well, I'm to the stringer, man. I've switched back to a piece of frog because these trout are just attacking it. So let's see what, uh, if they'll go for this. Yes, guys, Ra no, a rainbow trout and a golden trout on the same piece of frog leg. It is a trout dinner, boys. Trout and frog. Well, guys, we were walking back to start cooking and we spied a nice fat frog. I already used one of those frogs for bait. So what I'm gonna do is put on this frog leg, right? I, I put on this frog leg right here and we're gonna see if this frog that's sitting down here uh, right in front of us, if he'll eat a frog foot. She doesn't quite, she's not eating it. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> guys. A frog on a frog foot. How about that? Frog, first time catching frog on a real frog. There we go. Frog on a frog leg. Three frogs 
ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna clean these things. Mike has never seen how to do this, so I'm just no. gonna show him real quick here. All right, so we take our frog. He is dead. They still move long after they're dead. We killed this guy like a long time ago. Well, you just make a little cut right along the back, like so. Then we flip them over. So we're gonna cut off the little feet here. There we go. Then we take a pair of pliers and we grab the skin there and we just peel the whole frog like so. And there are the legs and then so you see what we're doing. We just I just cut off the legs. And there we go, we got some frog legs right there. And then if the frog is big enough, one thing guys in the south of the United States they have way bigger frogs than we do. And that's where they mostly eat the frogs. But you can eat the front here too. Just like that. And there we go, we have a couple of little front legs. But there we go. Now we come to the golden trout. Not really a golden trout technically, but that's what everybody calls them around here. Folks, look at this. This is going to be a feast. You got the rainbow, the golden trout. I had to cut it up a little bit because I know it's not going to fit in the pan. And a pile of frog legs. This is going to be amazing. So now that we have the gruesome stuff done, guys, we got a little something special here. Everybody says frog tastes like chicken. Mm. And it kind of does. Up. So when I was in Walmart, didn't even plan this. I was just in Walmart and I was like, perfect. Check that out there. We have Louisiana kitchen chicken fry and it's spicy. You see on the side right there. So we are going to bread these frogs, some spicy stuff. Then I'm going to make one of the trout, a little zesty lemon. Weber. Don't get, everybody was on me for saying Weber last time. That's how I, I say think it. it's Weber. Are you a Weber or Weber camp? <laughs> and we have, for the rainbow, I'm gonna do a little spicy. Mrs. Dash is one of my subscribers, sent this to me. So we're gonna just mix it up here. So let's take the old chicken fry mix. Make a nice little bed of it there. I'm gonna add some salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. Should be amazing. Then let's put all of our frog legs <laughs> right in the chicken fry there. Mix it around. Coat them real good. I'm not using any sort of like uh, milk uh, dip or anything with these because I just don't have the, re I just don't, I can't bring, I can only bring so many things out here with me. All right, let's put the frog legs Woohoo! I love the I love the sound of things frying. Guys, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go crazy here. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this chicken fry. We're gonna try also frying up the trout in chicken fry. Oh, and then this one, what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit of the Weber. Lemon zesty seasoning. It's Weber. <laughs> it's Weber, everybody. Just know that Micah says it's Weber. And then we're gonna add our trout. Ignore him, please. Team Weber. The chicken fried frog is done. I did forget paper towels on these bad boys. Then before we sample the frog legs, let's add the trout, the chicken fried trout, to the oil. Boom. Look at that. I know. Chicken wow. fried frog leg. Chicken fried frog leg. I just like saying that. Chicken fried frog leg, chicken fried frog leg, chicken fried frog leg. All right, guys. Chicken fried frog leg. Oh, I got a little bit of oil on me. We got trout. Chicken fried trout. That doesn't really rhyme. Is there another word for trout? Uh. Bro, Bro. Make, a, make a wish. <laughs> Dude. Cheers. It smells like fried chicken. Yeah. Guys, it literally smells like fried chicken. Like a little sweetness to it. 
It is like a little bit sweet. What is that? Is that the frog or is that the... What no. oil did you cook it in? Vegetable oil? No. Oh. Reminds me of chicken, except it's just, it's chewier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The taste, though, is chicken. It's just like a chewy chicken. If you came up to somebody with this and it was really breaded and you said, mm -hmm. you know, you want a little bite of chicken? Mm-hmm. They're probably like, oh, that's good. Mmm, I love that breading. Dude, yeah, that's a really good breading. Mm -hmm. That is a really good breading. Chicken fried breading? You know what would be really good with this? What? If you have like a lemon zesty mm. frog leg, uh -huh. you know, uh, breading, that would be really good. What, what, is that what it's called? Just a lemon zest? Yeah, like that Buffalo Wild Wings yeah. flavor, you mean? Yeah. That I would be really feeling. delicious. A lemon pepper. Dude, you know what would be crazy is to cook, <laughs> cook frog legs up like hot wings. Oh, like you fry the frog legs and then you toss them in like hot sauce or something. And you could, you could with these because that breading's so good. You could do like a buffalo breading mm -hmm. or you know buffalo sauce on them. Mm -hmm. um, you could do a like I said a zesty kind of breading or whatever. I mean that would just because the frog tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. And this trout is done. Should have brought some paper towels. Not forgetting the golden trout, we're gonna use some Louisiana Kitchen, again, New Orleans style fish fry. Guys, links to all this stuff is in the description. Then in that fish fry, we're gonna add that, so those spice, look at this, lots of spice. Boom, 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 right there. You know me, I love spicy stuff. Then some salt, I've used this batter enough now where I know the batter doesn't have any salt in it, so. And we're just gonna plop the golden trout in the sauce, or the, not the sauce, the, fish fry here. Just barely fits in there. <laughs> While we wait for the golden trout to cook, this fish has cooled off enough. Huh, one second. You know guys, to be perfectly honest, the trout isn't that good in the chicken fry. But it just doesn't go well together. The chicken fry mix and the fish, to me, to this trout, doesn't go well. The golden trout is golden brown. Ooh, amazing. I'm just gonna squash the little trout right there. I don't have big enough utensils because in my catch and cook pack, I can't carry around very much stuff. But look at that, golden, golden trout. And we're gonna squeeze some lemon right over top. <laughs> golden, golden, golden trout, guys. Do you have a fork? I'll go get one. I'm not sharing mine with you. Fork in hand, I return triumphantly. Mm. That's better immediately. Guys, that's amazing. That, that chicken fry, good for chicken, good for frogs. Not very good for trout. But when I switch back to the regular fish fry, there's just something about it. Mm. Normally, I like frying catfish. Trout, I usually like to leave pure. But I think that lemon juice, though, mm -hmm. that's like the cherry on top, bro. Really? That's just like, ding! It takes it from like an 8 to that 10 that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You're I landing agree. that double back somersault, you know? Cheers, bro. Cheers. Well done. Good recipe once again. Mm. Amazing day of trout fishing. Make sure to check out Micah's version of today. It's different. He saw all kinds of other stuff that I didn't see. So make sure to check out his video. If you guys want to check out another one of mine, I'll put them right on the side there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys in the next adventure.